Namaste. Namaste and welcome to Mindfulness Moment. This is a time in our day that we carve out to come right here and now. It is a pause, a pause from our very busy minds, uh, especially during our work life. And rightly so, we're very focused, we're very centered and uh, in our heads, if you will, right? Spending a lot of time there. And this is a time that we get to bring the whole body together, that we work with the physical body, we work with the emotional body that is just here and now, right? Always present with us. We work the whole body together and we use the practice of movement. We use the practice of breath and we use the present practice of meditation to arrive, right? To arrive here in this moment in a mindful way. So welcome. Find a seat that is comfortable. You're most welcome to sit up in a chair if that feels better for you on this day. I like to see, sit down on the ground. I have a cushion uh, right behind me and underneath me to support the body. So just take a moment, sit upright, put your hands on your thighs and move forward and back. Just kind of rock yourself forward and back becoming aware, becoming very mindful of the seat. You can go to the side, you can drop your left hand and float your right arm up over your ear, find a stretch and an opening here. Come back to the center and again, hands on your thighs and rock forward and rock back. You can feel right the different sides of the body, the different sides of the pelvis. Go ahead and drop your right hand down you can grab your seat if you're in your chair. Your left arm goes way up and over and feel that stretch all the way down into the hips and down into the legs and lots of breath here. Good, come back to center, your hands resting on your thighs. And again, rock forward, elbows in towards the side of your body and then round and roll yourself back and keep going like this. Lift your chin and your chest, take it in breath through your nose. And as you exhale, exhale it through your nose as you roll yourself back. So keep moving, be aware of your breath, inhale and exhale. Be aware of the body as you're moving here, inhaling, exhaling. Good, sit nice and tall, float the arms to the sky. And this time we'll twist, go to the left side, you can put your right hand against your thigh, you can take your left hand and grab the chair, if you're seated in the chair, just grab the uh, cushion if you have one, or just turn and twist, looking over that left shoulder and keep the flow of breath, the inhalation, the exhalation, All right, the whole body, inhale, come back up to the center, reach up, Big stretch here, lift, lift, lift. You can set your gaze up to the sky and then it's twist to the second side. Left hand against your right thigh, right hand is behind you or on the chair and turn and twist and breathe into the body. Deep breaths in and out. So the thinking mind, as we focus on the breath, as we focus on our body, Inhale, reach up. The thinking mind begins to calm. Bring your hands together in a prayer and then be intentional about this movement. You're gonna bring that prayer right between the eyebrows, over the nose, your mouth, your hands land at your heart. Your thumbs are actually pressing against your sternum. Lift the front of your chest and just sit tall for a moment. Let your eyes soften, feel the body, feel your breath. And I mentioned as we just began the practice, as we started the practice, that it's the whole body. It's the whole body. It's all aspects of the body, including our emotional body. So check in, check in. What's your mood today? Right? Maybe there's an overall uh, sensibility for you today. Maybe you're feeling really light, maybe even almost joyful. Maybe that's not the case. Maybe uh, there's a heaviness or a sadness that is coming along and in your body at this moment. And just notice whatever it is, is just as it should be. Don't try to change it, just notice it. Take a deep breath in and empty. Drop your chin to your chest, release your hands. Good, we'll continue the mindfulness practice in some more movement and some posturing. So I'm gonna come onto my hands and knees to, to flow here. If that's not happy place for you, you don't have to be on your on the ground. Um, I use a, a blanket as I'm on my knees. If you wanna do these postures standing, that's 
a perfect, perfect option for you. So be exactly where you need to be. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees are tracking right underneath your hips. You can take a look back there. I sometimes have to really physically look, where is my body in this moment? And then start to flow here. I'm tucking my toes under, look forward. That's an in-breath and then exhale round like a cat, letting that breath flow through your nose and inhaling, filling up, exhaling and emptying, emptying. And here you can get quite creative and playful. Um, you can move into your hips by pulling yourself back towards your heels. Just feel that energy. Get playful. You can do what feels right for you, right? What, what feels right for you. Maybe resting is what is the uh, thing to be doing. You can just drop your forehead and drop your, your arms down and just let uh, yourself rest for a moment. If you're standing, it could be a forward bend. If you're on the ground, it could be a child's pose. And just play like that. Be very present in the body. This is mindful movement. It is this moment, this breath in the body, here now. Deep and clear breath in the body. If you are seated, come back up to stand. If you're in a child's pose, come back up onto all fours. And we'll do some stretching here. If you are standing, you might stand back behind a chair, put your legs on or your hands onto the chair. Extend your left leg back, keep the toes down and then push and pull, and push and pull. You can get a good stretch, even through the front of the thigh, through the back, the calf, the sole of your foot. Push and pull here, opening up. Go ahead and lift that left leg. Use your breath, bend the left knee, and then start to circle around in the hip. You can roll that leg around. You can drop your gaze and take a look back there. It's nice to, to pay attention, right? To actually know what the body is doing. Even though your energy, your nervous system is guiding it to be really present and aware. Extend that leg back, straighten that left leg, and then reach your right arm forward. Oh, and deep breath in and out. Feel the balance and the strength required here. Drop the right hand back down and then go ahead and drop that left knee back underneath your hips or your foot drops underneath your hips and flow again, cats and cow position. Inhaling, exhaling. You might notice a shift, a change of energy here. Again, get playful. What do you need today? Maybe um, what you're feeling, we were talking about that emotional body, maybe you're exhausted, maybe you're tired and a rest, just a momentary rest can feel really, really good for the body. Listen carefully, tune in, check in. And no need to change or shift. Go ahead and reach your arms forward. If you're on the ground, come to stand using your breath and let's go to the other side, kick that right leg back and then push and pull, push and pull, stretching, lots of breath, deep breathing, just the act of moving, lift that right leg up and bend the knee and circle the leg around into the hip, feels really good for the body, right? As you start the initial movement, you might, might feel a little stiff or sore, just notice maybe you've been in your chair seated for a while, just notice what you're feeling, breathing. Take a look at the leg, Be very aware of what's happening. Nice deep breath. Extend that right leg back. So it, it's hip height, flexing the right foot. And then this time the left arm goes forward and it's a big stretch. So you can feel the body is stretching in two different directions. You reach, you expand and open. Exhale, left hand down. Right knee back underneath you and this playful, mindful movement. Go ahead. Maybe it's the lower back or the middle of your back that needs a little movement, a little stretching. And then all, wherever you are, if you are standing, maybe come back into your seat and take a rest. If you're on the ground, come back into a child's pose now. Make it a soft, gentle child's pose. You can stack your hands one on top of the other and rest your forehead and just be here. A good stretch for the lower back. If you're in your chair, you can widen your legs a bit and just let the torso drape between the thighs and 
Find your breath. Check in. Maybe the emotional body has taken a shift, right? Or it's made a shift, just notice. Maybe not. Nice full breaths. It's the wonderful thing about this mindful practice, right? Walk your hands forward. It's, it's about awareness, just being aware, being aware. Reach your arms forward. If you're standing again, you can put your hands on the back of the chair and then stretch. You're gonna walk your arms over to the left side and pull the hips over to the right. Stretch, expand, nice full breath. Your forearms are now off the ground, so you get a good stretch. And you can lift up the front ribs, you feel that energy. Come back to center and then take the hands over to the opposite direction. Pull the hips back and feel the breath, the inhalation, the exhalation. Good. Coming back to center now, go ahead and come up onto your hands and knees if you're on the ground. We're all going to meet in a standing forward bend. So if transitioning from the ground through a downward facing dog by lifting your hips up feels good, go ahead and make that transition. Do that pose. You can really work that pose too. Pulling your hips back, a little bend in your knees, and then reach back a little bit further. The heels moving down towards the ground, the arms reaching very intentionally into the earth. Go ahead and walk your feet forward. You can walk your hands back and just surrender here, relaxing into the forward bend. Your knees are relaxed and soft. Sway the body from side to side. Let your arms, your fingers relax here. And then coming to center, coming to a bit of stillness, keep your knees soft as you take the time to slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. As you come up, lift your shoulders way up to your ears. You can even bend your elbows a bit and then drop those shoulders back and down. You can push the hands down to the ground. Do that again. Lift the shoulders up to your ears. Exhaling, shoulders drop down. One more time, inhaling up and exhaling. Beautiful. So we meet in a standing mountain pose, right? So. Very specific, I love this practice too. Very mindful alignment. The feet right underneath your hip points. And if we were to align up here, we have an ankle joint, we have the knee joint coming right up into your hips. And the shoulders, put your fingers right on top of the shoulders. Lift your sternum, keep your core nice and strong. So now the shoulders are stacking right here on top of the hips. And then let's go up to the ears. Tug the top of your ears. The ears want to line up with the shoulders. Now what is happening, particularly in our culture, particularly as we age in our work life, here we go. We round ourselves over a lot of time. The chin is forward, right? So lengthening, standing nice and tall. If we look at this very carefully, mindfully, ears, shoulders, hips, ankles, ah, Tadasana, you're wide open, you're very present. Even this one posture is, is a beautiful uh, physical representation of awareness. You're here now, your palms are facing forward, your eyes are open. Your breath is flowing. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Reach, reach, reach. Get really tall here. I'm almost touching the ceiling. Get really, really tall. Belly is strong, open. Grab hold of your right wrist and pull yourself to the left side. Good. Come back up to the center. Keep the lift in your chest and then up and over to the other side you go. Good. Coming back to center. Bend to your right elbow. You can put your left elbow or your left hand on top of that right elbow. Bring that arm back behind you. Take your left hand. You're going to bend the elbow and slip it back behind you. Now, maybe some of us can meet the fingers to the fingers. I, I have a little space there. That's okay if you have some space. Just notice that it's nice and tall. And now we're going to step the right foot forward and the left foot back. And there's a little angle of that left foot, if you can see that. It's just turned out to the side. Chest is open, lean back, and then start to bend that right knee. Keep the breath fluid and flowing. Can you sense that alignment, that tadasana? Don't pull the head forward, but lean back so that the ears line up with your shoulders as you're open. Maybe even the, the chest begins to lift. You have this open space here. Beautiful. Make a fist, take the arms out to the side. 
unwind here, literally left arm, you can open the palm, goes in one direction, right arm, open the palm, goes in the opposite direction. Turn your palms up, reach your arms to the sky and bend the front knee, keep that back leg straight and strong and deep breathing in, deep breathing out. Good, straighten the right leg. Put your hands to your hips. Try to keep all of this space, this open space in the front of their chest. I'm actually taking my thumbs just to the back, right? Just above the rim of the pelvis there to really find support, find an openness in the chest. Keep the right knee straight. Keep it straight. It wants to bend as we come forward here. Keep it straight, breathing in. You might have to walk that back foot in a bit. If this is really challenging you might keep that leg straight you can walk the back foot in shorten the stance and then simply drop your nose to your knee and breathe in breathe out fullness of breath in and out Good. come up slowly with awareness coming up halfway and then all the way up deep breath left foot comes forward stand again really work that tadasana hips, ankles, shoulders, ears, Tadasana, open space. Float your arms up, 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 reach, get really tall, really, really tall, up, up, up you go. Left, grab the left wrist, pull yourself over to the right. Good, come back to the center. Grab the right wrist, pull yourself over. Good, come back to center. This time the left elbow bends, put your right hand on top of that left elbow. You can work that arm back alongside your ear. Sometimes the arm tries to pull out. That's okay if you don't have a lot of space there, but you can invite that arm to come up in line with your ear. Slip the right hand back behind you. Maybe this is the thigh that you can actually touch, the fingers to the fingers. Maybe not, it's okay. Wherever you are, just notice you know, the rotation in the shoulders, big breath in. Left foot goes forward, toes are pointed straight ahead. And then the right foot this time is back. You notice the angle of that right foot back behind you. I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit on this side. Nice and tall in the torso, bend the right knee, breathing. And take it out or bend the left knee, I'm sorry, bend the front leg. Big breath in, big breath out. Good, unwind, make a fist as you undo the arms, open the palm of the hands, work those shoulders, turning and twisting there, kind of rolling into all of the joints, the shoulders and the wrists, the elbows, float the arms to the sky, bend that left knee, open your chest and deep breathing in and deep breathing out. Go ahead and straighten that left leg. Hands, again, I'm just slipping my thumbs just above the rim of the pelvis there, making a beautiful connection. Chest is open, left leg stays straight, hinging, hinging, right? This might be a little bit tighter on this side. Maybe you step your back foot in to get a little bit more space. Drop your nose to your knee, let go here and stretch and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. In and out, good, come up halfway, go slow, be very mindful in the movement, coming up all the way. Step the right foot forward, meeting the left foot. Tadasana, shoulders and ears, remember that alignment and remember it during the day, right? As we kind of punch forward, open that beautiful heart, lean back, take some time to take some full breaths in your body. Turn your palms forward, inhale, reach up, exhale, come into a forward bend, long spine on the way down. Knees are soft, inhale, come up halfway. Big breath here, exhale, go back down. Using your breath, rise up, rise up. Arms out to the side, palms meet at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's go again, inhale up, exhale down. Coming up halfway. Exhale, release right back down. Rise up, rise up, big breath. Palms meet, exhale, hands to heart center. Let's go one more time, inhale up. Exhale down. The whole body, right? The whole body, inhale, halfway up. Exhale, back down. So as I check in, inhale, coming back up, 
my emotional body. I love these sun salutations. It often brings a smile to my face, smile to my insides, right? Be here now, whatever it is that you're feeling, just check in and notice. Good, and then release. We're gonna do a little hip opening. I'm gonna do it standing, or you can choose if you wanna sit down in a chair, right? So we're going to lift that right leg up. If you're standing, you might need a little support. You might hold on to something here. You're going to lift that right leg up. We're going to take ankle to knee here. So the foot is not resting against that left leg. It's ankle to knee. It's a little standing hip opener, a little balance. Chest is open. Remember that Tadasana shape. We don't need to round forward. Where's the, oh, the head, the balance of the head. I'm going to pull my ears up. And I'm gonna bend the standing leg and get a good stretch here, just resting my hands very lightly on the front shin. Maybe drop your forearms here, pull back, and this is a lovely stretch in through the hips. Deep breathing. You can feel that long spine, right? Feel it in the chair too. It's, it's a lovely stretch either way, right? Standing or sitting, shrug your shoulders. Go ahead and drop that left foot back or that right foot back down, stand tall for a moment. You're in a chair, both feet on the ground, your chest is open. Let's see what happens on this side. So bring that left knee up, ankle, right? Ankle crosses right on top of the thigh. So here we are. The side is a little wobbly for me. I can feel it already coming. Again, maybe you're seated in your chair, nice and tall, opening up, start to bend the right leg as that left leg stays here. You can kind of pull it up and Drop your forearms down and gain a good stretch into that hip. Nice deep breathing in and out. Good, and then gently rise back up. Shrug your shoulders, step back. Push your hands on your hips. If you were seated, you can come back up and join us. Standing, just open up. Let's go wide-legged. Make sure you're safe. I moved my prop out of the way and I'm not practicing with the yoga mat today but I do feel safe. I'm practicing in my bare feet. I love this practice because you can take it anywhere, right? You don't need anything, but mindfulness to do the practice. Nice and tall, reach your arms up, lean back, get really big here, this big, beautiful X position. Bend your knees, you're gonna pull your hips back, put your hands on your thighs, draw your left elbow or your left shoulder to your uh, inner, right knee and then come back to center. Let's do the other side, the right shoulder to the left knee. A few times like that, one to the other, one to the other. Coming back here, turn the toes out now and bend the knees. Watch that your toes are tracking between your second and third toe. So if you're a little bit tighter here, put your hands on your inner thighs and Walk those knees, kind of pull those knees out. Be really gentle, lift and stand straight up again. Bend your knees and come back up. Let's put our hands behind us. I'm wrapping my thumbs again around the base, just above the rim of the pelvis. Could have gone down halfway, arms out to the side, big breath, left hand down, right arm to a twist. Good, bring the right forearm on top of your right thigh. Left arm up, beautiful, let's change sides. Left forearm on top of left thigh, right arm up and reach and expand. Drop that right hand down, left arm to the sky. Little flow here, exhale and gently release. Turn your toes in, take a moment, relax the head and neck, say yes. Oh, say no, some deep breaths, you might flutter your lips here. Press down into the ground and slowly, gently come up. Shrug your shoulders. Go ahead and walk your feet in, walk your feet in. Bring your hands in front of your heart center. Again, check in, right? This is awareness today of our emotional body within the movement, within the breath, within this, this moment. Good, let it all go. Release awareness, prepare a seat of meditation. So I'm going to use my cushion. I have my blanket underneath. 
seated meditation done in your chair, um, you know, maybe pull away from the desk if you are seated in a chair, if you're working in your office space, making sure that your space is prepared mindfully. So I'm kind of situating my hips, right? Moving side to side, making sure that once I land in my posture, the posture I'm taking is Siddhasana, right? It's a three-pointed posture, the knees are down, pelvis tries to be even, right? So both hips moving equally down into the ground, sitting nice and tall, we're back to that Tadasana alignment. So the head does not wanna be forward or the chin up, the head is very gently very mindfully perched right on top of the spine. The shoulders align with the ears. And then we come down here to the hips, right? This big, beautiful Tadasana shape. It's strong, right? The mountain pose in our posture. We have a nice foundation. The pelvis is even, not rolling back, not rolling forward. So lifting up your hips is a nice way to find that, is a helpful way to find that. And then let's take, um, take your left hand and just slide it into the palm, the open palm of your right hand. Let your thumbs gently come to touch. So the body, the spine strong, your core strong, the rest of the body naturally aligned and very soft and relaxed. Let your arms, your shoulders relax. Feel even the side of your body, the sides, the front, the back, just softening down into your seat this moment. If you have to make an adjustment, go ahead and do that and then settle into the stillness. We often use the physical body to uh, help us to find that sense of ease, that sense of stillness. So start there, or to soften and relax any movement. And come to the awareness, the awareness of your breath. And feel your breath moving through your body. With your awareness, with your mind's eye, you can follow your breath, follow your breath. Coming in through your nostrils, moving into the lungs. The flow of energy going out through the heart center, the heart pumping the energy out into the limbs of the body, into the organs of the body. In this moment of awareness, and again, awareness of the whole of all. You feel the physicality, you feel the breath. And just notice the feeling that you have right now. And again, try not to name it, just observe it. Certainly try not to judge it. Just notice. Maybe you feel peaceful. Maybe you don't, maybe you are a little distracted. Maybe the mind is taking you away from even your feelings, your emotional body. Choose this moment of awareness. Deep breathing. Invite the breath, fill your body up. 
Mm, be aware again what and how that might shift energies, how that might shift the way you're feeling. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, go ahead and drop your chin to your chest. Bring your hands together in front of your heart center. We do this practice for the benefit of all beings. Yes, this mindfulness practice. So hold awareness in the palm of your hands, hold compassion and understanding. Hold that energy, lift your arms all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, separate your hands and send that energy out into the world for the benefit of all beings. May all beings be free. May all beings be safe and healthy. Bring your hands back together. And as you exhale, your hands meet your heart. Namaste. Thank you so much for the privilege and honor of guiding you through this practice. My name is Evelina and I look forward to practicing mindful moment with you again sometime very soon. Namaste.